The judges have voted an Obi for Red Light Winter to Adam Rapp. The judges have voted Obies to Peter Francis James and Byron Jennings. The judges have awarded an Obi to S. Epatha Murkison. The judges are honored to present this year's Sustained Achievement Award to Eric Bentley. The judges have voted an Obi to Ewan Morton's untawdry turn as Molly in Measure for Pleasure. And for his 90th birthday, the judges are honored to present this year's Sustained Achievement Award to Eric Bentley. The judges award an OB for playwriting to Rollin Jones. The judges award an OB to Marin Ireland. The judges award an OB to Sherry Renee Scott. The judges have voted an OB to John Clancy. The committee awards Edge Theatre Company a $3,000 grant. The judges have voted an OB to Edwin Lee Gibson. An OB grant of $3,000 has been voted to the Red Bull Theater. The judges have voted an OB for sustained excellence to my darling, Alan Moyer. For keeping it real and keeping it in the community for over 30 years, the judges have awarded a $3,000 OB grant to Billy Holiday Theater. The judges have voted an OB to Martin McDonough for the Lieutenant of Inishmore. The judges award an emerging playwright OB grant of $1,000 to Nina Bieber. The judges have voted an OB to the National Theatre of the United States. The judges are delighted to present the Ross Weston Memorial Award to Soho Rep. The judges award OBs to Ari Fliakos and Scott Shepard. The judges have awarded an emerging OB playwright to $1,000 to Rini Groff. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Tonight we're here for the Obie Awards, and uh, very important to New York City, and it's been an ongoing tra tradition. A little bit of your thoughts on the Obies. The Obies signified everything of value to me because they were an award that both awarded excellence, but specifically excellence within a downtown, experimental, nonprofit context. They were an anti-market award, and that I thought was crucial about the Obies then, and I still think it is now. But what we are is we create exciting work, we create, we energize a city, um, and, we, and we create conversations in the town of, of what's going on. I think they're equally as important as the Tonys because it's really an opportunity for art to take place. But a lot of times you don't. When you get to the Tonys, it's about commerce. Uh, well, I have said this before and I'll say it again. I am so proud to be part of the theater community in New York and especially to be presenting awards tonight at the Obies because the Obies, first of all, are a celebration of off-Broadway theater, which contains some of the greatest uh, plays, experimental theater, uh, music, theater companies who take huge risks, and it's the only non-competitive um, award ceremony. The Obie Awards, it's, a, you know, it's not a nomination. We were just talking about it over on the other side of the room. Uh, it's not... Uh, you're weighing against your colleagues. It's just this many are handed out as a, an honoring thing. It's lovely. It's just lovely. It's the only place where you can do really independent kind of uh, thinking, you know, and you know, plays, uh, dramaturg things that are new. And it just meant that the work that we received, that we did at that time, received recognition through the Off Broadway uh, Theater wing of the OB and that, that meant a lot. Well it's always nice to be recognized and have the work recognized so especially this because it's off-Broadway theater, off-off-Broadway theater so it's really important that this part of the of the business is recognized. Yeah. Welcome to the Obies.